people get involved in your campaign. They say, you know what? I love this woman. I love what she's doing. She's fighting for us. This is John Burrell reporting for Conservative New Media. Uh, hi, my name is Marie Brichetto. Yes, I'm a student at San State and I'm the president of the CSU Stanislaus College Republicans Club. I'm the founder of it as well as I'm an ASI um, senator for the College of Humanities and Social Sciences and the presidential appointee to the CSU Foundation Board of Directors. John Valero, Conservative Media, I love this. You're all over the place, just like Sarah Palin is. Now, what did that speech do to you? What kind of impact did it have on you as a future leader? It was very moving and inspiring, and she's just, she's a wonderful role model. She definitely is, and she just, she just brings life to the crowd, every crowd that I think she goes to speak to. Did you like the jokes and the hand stuff? I'm sorry, what was that? How she wrote the notes on her hand making fun of Obama with the teleprompter. Oh yes, that was, that was hilarious. She has a great sense of humor. So are you happy that she came all the way out here to Modesto and what do you think this is going to do going forward with your organization now that you founded the College Republicans? Do you think this gives you added momentum? It does, it does. It's great to have uh, someone come and just, I don't know, give everyone motivation and inspiration and get us going. I mean, our club just started this past semester. How many members do you guys have now? Well, it's growing. <laughs> I don't know if I want to release the numbers, but uh, we're, we're on our way. Yes, we like to keep it mysterious. <laughs> so. Now, would you like to see Sarah Palin run in 2012, and what do you think your chances are? Well, um, you know, I think that's a very personal question, but she's a wonderful role model, like I said, and I think that she's got a great chance. Uh, what is your business? Uh, agri agriculture. Why did you want to be here tonight? Well, we wanted to be here tonight to uh, support uh, this, the uh, institution of the campus, but uh, we also were interested in uh, supporting Sarah Palin as a. Friend. You like Sarah Palin? Well, what about her speech tonight really struck you? Uh, it struck again, uh, true Sarah Palin. Yeah. She uh, was she's pro America. And uh, if you love America, you love Sarah Palin. Yeah. If you don't love uh, America, you hate Sarah Palin. <laughs> and she'll go back to your uh, some other country. High energy, guns blazing. Well, what struck you tonight? Right. Um, I saw a, a very diverse uh, educational platform that she was looking to um, look at a wide range of uh, learning, the education being a wide range, and um, finding something that was America across the board, but really being very, um, very much of our founding father, fathers and what they were getting back to and what they wanted to see going on in education. As Sarah Palin has skyrocketed in terms of political success. Mm -hmm. Do you think that because she's a woman and she's been so successful that she's liberated conservative women? Uh, what I love about Sarah Palin is that um, being a person, or actually a woman on the forefront of being kind of a woman in uh, leadership, especially in Modesto, is somebody, I own a gallery in Modesto, and it's a biz as a business owner, I love seeing somebody who's kind of in the forefront as being somebody as a business entrepreneur and being able to push business and being able to have kind of a, that, um, American spirit about America in business in in America wide range but California in general because I would love to see business small business in particular being something that grows in in California that's kind of interesting Mr. Veneman I mean is there some kind of extra resonance that Sarah Palin has coming from a small town of Wasilla to someone here that's maybe not in the huge big city or what are you know white lights? Does she have some kind of extra resonance with sort of what people call real America? Absolutely. It wouldn't matter if uh, Sarah Palin, Palin was uh, black or white, uh, male or female. She resonates America and what truly America stands for. It's very plain. It's very easy to understand. It's very basic. And it resonates with all America, not just Californians, not just Modestans. It resonates with all of America in that we want to return America to greatness and not keep grinding it down bit by bit by the current administration. You guys seem, sorry, you guys seem really fired up. I'm feeling that you guys are maybe going to back a Sarah Palin for 2012. Would you like to see that? We would love to. In fact, we personally asked Sarah if she was going to run. She's very... Uh, 
She's very. Uh, uh, she does not want to to state that yet, but we we would love to. And in anyone that uh, stands for what Sarah stands for, we would certainly back because we love America, and uh, we want to see its greatness restored and not being further torn down by uh, the likes of our current uh, ilks. Are you proud of the, of the amount of money that Kaylin, Governor Palin was able to raise tonight? Absolutely. Yeah, I think you need a speaker like her to get this. You know to get that kind of price and uh, you know right now like she said like we all say the school needs money California is not going to give it to them oh, yeah. uh, $60,000 is 15 annual scholarships in a, in a Cal State system. So how many I mean just doing the mat quick math how many scholarships did she generate tonight? Uh, uh, tuition is about 4,000 a year rounded so that's about 15 so it counts because I'm sure the budget has cost more than 15 seats in, in, in uh, you know, students. No, 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 no. Budget. <laughs> Good. Thank you, sir. See if you can get some of the foundation Appreciate money for scholarships.